If you want a file to be your startup file, you can very easily do so by going into File, Defaults, and then Save Startup File. And then when we open a new scene, you can see that there is no default cube. I also like to add some uh, additional camera setups and so on. You can press Ctrl P, set the camera parent to an empty sphere. And then we can set it to uh, frame divided by 30, for example. And then we have an automatic infinite camera rotation around the object. If you like to experiment with lighting and materials in Blender, you might also want to add a custom object into the scene of the startup file. So we can add this Minotaur, for example, and set it in the middle so that the camera rotates around the objects like this. And because I usually use a background image as well as a sun, you can also add that by default into the startup file so that you don't have to add it every time. We can add an environment texture. You can find a bunch of them for free online. Make the background transparent so that you get the lighting but not the actual background. And because I usually use cycles instead of EV, I might as well set that as my render engine for the startup file as well. And then instead of just using solid view, we can also add a glossy shader, give it a nice color, and then go to viewport shading. And then we can set it as the startup file. And then when we open a new file in Blender, we're going to get this setup, which uh, looks much better than just the default cube and we'll save you some time as well. 